bloody excited. Unimong versus Combi. It's guaranteed that I die legend. Yeah, son, God, homie, I'm ready. I'm great. Just protect my family. Ask about me, you take where he's not at first. Straight up, all the way up. With the same ones that was down from the jump. They was, same ones. Been around when the ain't fun. Even got love for fake ones. It changed up like they break ones. Going, you can charge it to the game. I'm all up in the photos, looking large in the frames. Right there is where this starts. But you could ask it, what, where is right there? Well, I don't know because <laughs> this is so random. We weren't even planning to do any four wheel driving this week. We we're going to be oh. just chilling out in Karatha. We but... were going to chill out. But friends of ours, they let us know about a track called the Jump Up Track. Yes. I did a bit of research. Um, this track is renowned for some proper four wheel drive carnage. Um, you know, cars flipped over, things getting destroyed. Now, our friends oh. of ours, and here they come now, are in a massive Unimog. Like, friggin' huge. So the plan is, Combi versus Unimog, up the jump up track. Ah. And here they are here, rolling in on 45 inch tires, <laughs> original engine. Holy shit. This is a joke. However, is the combi gonna beat this thing? Oh my God. It's so big, man. It's too big. excited Unimong versus Combi, Mercedes versus Volkswagen, Germany versus Germany. It's on. Look at the grand clearance of this bloody thing. But apparently it's got 180 horsepower. We've got about 130. That's good for us. That's 10 ton. We are probably about 1.9 ton. It's a lot higher so it's got a lot more body roll. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how they both, you know, the, the small and nimble versus the big and strong. Um, be like you and me, Max, you know, the beer, you know. Righto, mate. Yeah, righto. <laughs> Look at that thing. Yeah, that so we've only been on the road for what, I'd say 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to let air out of these tyres. Yeah, it's got to let some air out. Rocky. This is a bit of a competition, guys. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not we're letting not, anything happen. We're not taking any risks here because we want to show just how good the combi is. Ah, uh, well, I might get them a bit lower. I think I'm going to run them. A, this is a competition. It's very rocky, right? So I want these tyres to just, like, hug over these rocks. And especially in the back, it's all about the grip and the traction. So I'm going to go probably about 18, I reckon. I think he's got the same idea. <laughs> All right, 19.5 at the front. So I'm gonna stick with 19.5 in the front and a slightly lower pressure in the back. Okay, I trust you. Just over there, I think it's our first water crossing. Um, I believe it's salt water, which you know what? It's not great, um, not great at all. I don't know how deep it is, so I'll probably send them through first. But I think we're going to have to do a bit of a clean on the combi after all this because otherwise I don't reckon we'll last another six months with stuff like that. So we've got a water crossing and a dry crossing. Yeah, you're right, so you're going through the water then, aren't you? Uh, I don't like going through salt water. Yeah, but it's... Um, it's not deep. So if I go through, I win this one. <laughs> As this is a Volkswagen verse. Mercedes. So if you take the easy route, that's one point combi. One. Okay, okay, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. All right, I guess I'm going through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> See, it doesn't take much to convince anybody with the competition, does it now? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
is a fake <laughs> bomb, everybody knows you're a fake bomb. Alright. I know, soldier on. <laughs> oh my god. So, Unimog 1, Pombi. One. one. Yeah, so the, you'll probably see in some of this footage that, that we'll put up is the amount of body roll that these um, Unimogs have. They have got incredible suspension and a huge amount of ground clearance. But you got to remember, this truck is 10 tonne. I think we may have just picked like the, the hardest unit to burst when it comes to off-roading. Like their tyres are huge. If you're going to do it, do it right. Go hard or go home. <laughs> Gosh. We're going hard. We're going hard. <laughs> Sorry, say again. Straight ahead. Yep. Are we going in front now? You. <laughs> oh wow. You couldn't help yourself. I can't help myself. I can't be behind. You're like, I need to give it some. It's too slow. I don't like it. It's fun. It's okay. Hold on with your hands. Hold on. Oh, and look at that beautiful blue water, Zuzu. So nice. Oh. Do you reckon there's fish in there? No. Oh. There is. There he is. How big? Bigger. Bigger than your head? Yeah. Because I'm about that. I think one thing we've forgotten is that Unimogs were built for this. Well, yeah. yeah. But combis they're... were not. Combis were. Hey, hey. Hey, well. You can go everywhere with a combi. I feel like that's it, but it's um, still high tide. I, I feel like the Unimog would get through here right now, but... Yeah, that's it. Maybe not, we wouldn't. That's jump up. We might have to sit and have a, a beer or something. Yeah. But so you got to think this tide, the tide was up here earlier and, and it's shooting out now. So, um, yeah, that's it. And it gives us time to maybe walk it as well. If we can get over there, we might be able to go up the creek and go across the edge a bit. Wow. You that's a hundred percent jump up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that goes up over that, and then it goes yeah, all so the way up the thing. thing. Oh man, yeah. I'm excited. I'm gonna go for well, a get your thongs off. You can go for a walk. I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> High tide in one hour, and we've got to get through here. But we're not doing. I'm not driving through here. No. <laughs> we're still in croc country, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, you know the worst thing is, you come out of here with slippery tyres. I think that's the funny bit. You kind of have to... Oh my God. This is all incredibly achievable so far. Yeah. Is this it? Is this all jump up is? 
Yeah, this is the bit that everyone says is hard, this bit, and then getting over that rock, which people have tried to jackhammer. <laughs> I think this this is the part where they're like, everyone's like, oh, this, this is the bit that everyone um, does, but now they've filled this full of rocks, so now you don't get hung up on here as much. Yeah. I'd make this, so would you. Yeah. And then, it's just that water, man. Jesus, yeah, see, this is the board short. So that's um, the equivalent of Harry's Hole Crossing at the moment. Jesus. We're doing uh, jump up. Well, we're, we're going to attempt to do. No, we're doing it. Jump up. <laughs> <laughs> what no, just happened just before made me a little bit nervous. Oh yeah, we didn't get it on film. That guys behind us might have well, got I it on did. film. I did. No, I got part of it. I don't know if the oh, rocks were the rocks flying. The rocks were flying. Every, anyway, one wheel got hooked up, but also I was just I was just moving it backwards and forwards. The wheel was spinning and smoke was going everywhere. Anyway, we got up because I oh, I'm not losing a point to the to the uni mug. <laughs> That's the only reason. I'm just like, if I hop out, they're gonna pull me out. We lose a point. I didn't even think of that. Not good job, babe. Good I'd job. Good job. I'd rather blow a job. CV before handing over a point. Righto. <laughs> so we're back. Tide's gone down, as you can see, a lot better. We've still got a little bit of water to cross over, um, but you know we're going up a rocky, up a rocky up ramp with wet tires, which. I don't it know. doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound good, really, does it? It sounds slippery as shit to me. But yeah, anyway, we're going to do it. This is our first obstacle. This is the one we have to get over to go and go beach driving. This is the big this is, challenge. This is the challenge. We're throwing the drone up. We've got GoPros everywhere. I'm about to walk let's, through the water. Let's bust the diff, bruh. You. Do it. Go ahead and bring a lot on. Ain't no giant, I ain't gon' fire on. Catch a fade, you I'm wrong, I'm gone. Y'all can catch the wave that I am on. I am my corn, y'all are wide wrong. Think that I'm on the side wall. So ain't nothing to it though. This is all we ain't got to do. That was crazy! 
I honestly didn't think we were gonna make it then. That was incredible to watch. Wow. We did it, we did it, we did it. Holy shit. Wow. Was that hectic? Hectic, like. That is probably the most hectic thing I've done. Guess what? <gasps> no Max tracks. I've actually seen a few other YouTubers have to you use should Max tracks. <laughs> you should have seen all the smoke coming out. Yeah, it was insane. What? The smoke. Was it just burning just rubber? Spinning and burning, yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do I get hung up? Us? On this. Yeah. 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 You're pretty happy with that? Oh, no, I'm just saying I was in shock because there was moments there where I'm like, oh my god. Like, Wait, you know the funniest thing? Zuri slept through that whole thing. Did she? She's still asleep. <laughs> Oi. Where he's got he's got a lot more width. I think this is where he's gonna have a bit of trouble. This is, where, this is where he comes unstuck because he's very wide. You gotta get further that way. You got a big hang up here. Now this way. Now this way. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, this side. Yeah, straight. Oh, I thought he was over. I thought he was over. That is hilarious. Oh, that is great. We both made it. There we go. Yes. There we go. There is no, there's no lesser yet. It's a tie. Well done, mate. Still 1-1. One, one. Oh. I, was, I, was, I was spitting smoke and you just crawled up that like. I was a bit worried on that one spot where it just dipped down. Oh, no, man. Oi, there was one point I had to move. I thought I'm about to get crushed by your big rig. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can you smell my clutch? I smell your tires, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now we're up to the beach. Uh, and then we've got to come back this way. Fun. It's oblivious to jump up. The coolest thing. She's that... just in her natural habitat. Daddy just did one of the coolest things ever. And you slept through the, whole, slept through the whole thing, thing, Zuzu. But that's all right, darling. You'll be dreaming about it. That's she's, sure. she's dreaming about it, babe. <laughs> I can't believe that news. I'm, I don't know. I'm not often lost for words. Well, what, I kind of am, but. Was it, that, was it that hectic? I was like filming like and I didn't know what, I was like trying to film and, and watch and I'm like, oh my God, are they, is he going to make it? And then I thought he's going to stop. You and know then I love, because I've watched a lot of four wheel drives get stuck. So you were like, I'm going to give it some. I was not going to max tracks it like some. That's okay if you do though. It's that is okay. fine. You're playing the safe game obviously, but um, I'm more of a risk taker. Driving in to do this track, we spoke to a local 
and we told him that we we're gonna do the track and he said whatever you do don't go out into the mud don't flat. go out into the mud flat and because guess what? we're currently at a mud we're flat. at a mud flat so I'm a little bit nervous right now he said like you literally take two steps and half your body's sunken under so uh, anyways I'm, I'm we'll stick into these rocks yeah stick to the rocks um, just be really careful yeah I'm sticking close to these Ooh. rocks. Should we tell them on the radio? No. Yeah. Tell them. Be nice. I dare to go through that bog hole on the left. No. <laughs> Turn it again. Oh, they can never hear us. <laughs> he said, I dare you to go through that bog hole in the left. Do not, do not. <laughs> yeah, we're not planning on it. It doesn't look very inviting. Oh, there's a car. Is that a car? <laughs> Woo! Is that a flipped over car? Yeah. of a southern man, daughter of a free man, children of the Civil War. Blackbird on a limb, both of them diving in deeper than they've been before. And I oh, oh, down a red dirt path, covering their tracks, strangers in the light of day. Damn fight, I can't stop, and if they get caught, it's gonna be hell to pay. So baby, meet me down by the road, no river where the cool dark water meets the full moonlight. If we can sneak away, maybe we could be together. And nobody stop in love tonight. I thought that we'd like gotten through all the hard stuff. Whoa, and they're sharp, babe. Not super sharp. They're pretty sharp. They're pretty sharp. Um, this year we're gonna go going over this way so that way we don't. We still have to go back. Yes, but I think we just took the hard way. To be honest, I didn't even really. There's... Oh my gosh. And Zuri's still asleep. Right back onto the smooth road. I'm sweating. That was hefty. Let's see how they go. Back. And then that way. See? Bigger isn't always better. See, I was able to come up, go between there. I was able to hug through that, but he's going to have to put a tire in this big dip over here. He made it. With a bit of guidance from me, maybe. I don't know, is that a full point? Maybe. Is that a full point? I don't know. Is that a full point? I think so, maybe. Oh, we'll give him a full point. We'll give him a full point. Even though I had to guide him, but, you know, that's free. That comes free. I'm just killing for a swim. I'm ready for a swim. This is well, I think the beach is just up here. Um, your phone, sorry. So we're going to go to the closest beach, which is literally yeah, just cool. over this. Um, Did my phone just? Oh. Just over this thing here. We'll take a screenshot. And we'll give you a bit of a. Give you a bit of an idea mm -hmm. of where we are. I'm so surprised that you just did that screenshot. So I'm already honest. So like, we're gonna usually go straight it takes ahead him lots of goes. And land onto that beach. So you'll see there if we go straight ahead off to the left and over the sand dune. Yeah, cool. Hopefully she's not too soft. Now what's this sign say? Probably says no access to sand dunes. The sign says Turtles next here, avoid beach next driving. Next here, not October. next. October. To April. So we're outside it. So avoid beach driving October to April here, guys. If okay. you're planning on doing this, we are not inside of that. Cool. Oh, I can feel the breeze of the sea air. Feel the breeze. Here we are. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh god. Oh. Uh -oh. Is that soft? I believe, my friends, is this is where the Unimog will beat us. Now, don't say that yet, babe. All right, so Carsten's going down to uh, to check it out, see how soft the sand is, um, pretty much to just see if we can make it or not. Because we've still got to go back. And Ziri is still asleep. Oh, this is hectic and soft, but we're doing it. Yeah. Oh, yes. How about you guys go in um, soft sand? Got boys? Oh, yeah. We've gotten bored before. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like this might be where we get a point on them. Yeah, yeah. Point down's not hard. No, nah, down's all right. Right, oh, you gonna follow? It's not that soft. Nah, it's pretty good. And then once you get down there, it's a bit of a highway off to left and right, and it looks like there's another exit off the beach down there, which is rock. All right, sand driving, 101. As you know, tire pressures and momentum. Now they can do tire pressure, but momentum is where they get a bit unstuck, but they are four wheel drive, so maybe that'll pull through. I've set the challenge, go down this, onto the beach, park up, have a bit of a swim and whatever, do a Yui and then come back up. And if we can both make it back up, it's a tie. Max, what do you reckon? Do you reckon they'll make it back up? What was that? We've done worse than this, haven't we? Are you saying do you reckon we will or they will? Oh, both. I'm just gonna say positive thinking, let's well, just I think we've done stuff like do this um, on in New South Wales before I Look, even I'm lifted not, it. I'm not feeling nervous about this, but you just never know, do you? Just never know. You just never know. Um, we're coming down, we're going down. say then? I don't think you're making it up there. Uh, I'm going to do a Yui and I'm going to go up and we'll park up the top once I'm done and then it's up to them to do it but if they get stuck I don't know who's going to help them. Don't be too confident No, babe. no, we'll probably get stuck. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> He's in his element. He is in his element. Yeah. He's loving it. And you guys are like getting him really excited. He's like, I'll show you. Yeah. That bit is soft, bit is, so it's, it's hard to get momentum. We have momentum. been on sand this yeah. soft before, and it has surprised us, and the combi has made it, but yeah. you just never know. Yeah. You never know enough. Because, like, that's, that's the kind of stuff that we got stuck in. And yeah. Like, like, you know, trying to get 10 tons up there. So yeah. Especially, like, if we had our new tires, we could make it. Mm. We I'll just do. let them down. Yep. Uh, but we can't let these down that far. So, there's cool. no way. All right, here he comes. All right. I've just gone up, done a Yui. So, I've got to get up this track. Because he doesn't think we're going to make it. And if we do, this is where Combi beats Unimog through, I don't know, sheer, I don't give a fuck, and power. So, wish me luck. I, I can always let my tyres down more, but we'll see. Yes! <laughs> 
One wheel drive, baby. One wheel drive. One wheel drive. No lockers, no LSD, a busted ass reverse. That reverse is. I don't know how to say it nicely, but I'm bring, fucked. I'm bringing the mog down. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop. Oh my god. You know, I'm not, not one to celebrate early, but I'm going to celebrate early. <laughs> beep, beep. This has turned into a proper combi versus unimog. And the funny thing is... <laughs> Oh, look at Yelly. Funny thing is, Pat will not back down. Will he? No. He's like me. He's worse, probably. Yeah, he is. So to give you a bit of context, these guys had an ex-ambulance sprinter and took it up Cape York because we did it. So I said, oh, you do it, Pat. You can do it. So and then how he... many years ago did we meet you? We two, met you back in... Two years ago. Two years ago. It so Zuri was, was a baby. Down. Oh, here he goes. It was Day as well. Get, jump down and film him getting bogged. I'm sitting up here and chilling. Can you get me a drink, please? And we'll, and check on your daughter. Thank you. Check on your daughter. <laughs> Zuri is still That's asleep. The most important part. Yeah, most important part. Check on your daughter. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Look at that. I just want to swim. Woo. So for me, the hardest bit was doing the U-turn once down on the beach because I did, it's so soft. I just plow, you know. Oh no. He's bogged, he's gone down into the soft stuff. Do, tell him to do a Yui. I think he might be I think he might be bogged already. Are you is he bogged? He's gonna have to go forward. So he's trying to do a Yui for some reason to reverse uphill. I'm a big believer in reversing downhill. You know, drive up the hill with momentum and reverse down. I love it. I can, um, now that Carsten's made it, I can hear him and he thinks he's an expert. So he's like talking to the camera and, and giving all yeah. these tips. Cause you know, he did it. So this is how you do it. No one helped me when I was bogged. He's gonna have to drive forward. Drive forward, do a Yui. Use the, use the downhill momentum. Well, shit, it is bogs now. Oh no. It's gonna have to get more air out of those tyres. 1.9 ton versus 10 ton. Uh, and and all tyres. <laughs> you know, and I got, I got one wheel driving me, you got four of them. Right on. Who's gonna charge that way? We'll put Max Rack in front of the next, in front of the next run and trying to keep up with him. Well, we got him up onto the straight. Woo! <laughs> Oi, who needs F45 and shit when you're going to get bogged? Right. Yeah. Look, there's nothing wrong with getting beaten by a one wheel drive, Patrick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm doing something to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to the same point right there. My first time I was getting down here. Well, let's not talk about that. So, guys, the combi gets another point. Oh, yeah. The uni mug, the uni mug, the uni bog, the uni bog gets no points. But now we've got to make it back. We've got to go back down uh, the jump up and we're going to try and get over that water crossing before the tide comes in. And that's us done, guys. Tell you what, it's a fun drive. We haven't even 
like done half of the tracks like it goes right up out around this peninsula here right everywhere so we've we just got to the first beach but tell you what when you're driving with a unimog it is slow going slow going so yeah let's go would you hold me if i told you we can just run away so come my darling let me help you, we can follow the sun and leave the rain for somebody else that help ourselves. I think sometimes, we were just talking about, sometimes you're so focused on the track that you actually forget to look up and, and look at just how beautiful everything is. Like the surrounds at the moment are just stunning, absolutely stunning. It is the, the red rock, the green, it's the green quite, spin effects. Like everything's quite green. They had a fair bit of rain. Not it's long pretty ago. unique, isn't it? Like this yeah. area has its yeah. own little unique spin in terms of the landscape. I love it. I love it too. Love it. And I think um, Karatha itself, a lot of people don't talk about. But there's places like this. If you if you actually take the time to look and explore, you get to do fun stuff like this in beautiful spots. You know what makes a track? like this feel better what going back to an air-conditioned house <laughs> with a like yes. not, not having to go back to a um a caravan park sweating real bad and yes. smelling clutch or not it's true we are very fortunate we have some lovely friends that we met on the road and we're staying at their house and we actually said last night was one of the best night's sleep we've had best in a long sleep time in six months yeah it was great it was great. Don't get us wrong, we love living on the road. That is us, 100% us. Hard work. But sometimes you just gotta stop and take a break. <laughs> stop and smell the clutch. Oh God. Clutch just stinks. Yeah. I'm, I'm really concerned about that. That's just nuts. Nice. The fibers, because it got so hot. The clutch, just the, that bell housing is just full of fibers. Stinky winky. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best smell. Alright, so we're going to wait for them and then we're going to go down, which was probably one of the most challenging sections other than the sand. Challenging, rocky I'm just sections. going to have a quick look, but I, I feel like going down is going to be a lot easier because I haven't got to use right boot, right? You, it's, you're really just using... Um, you're just using a bit of gravity. Like, oh, to get over these, yeah, all good, peace up. Um, and then I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take this edge here. I'm gonna go straight over this. So before I came up this big thing over here. So I came up that, you can see all my burnout marks, but I'm just gonna go straight off the edge there, nice and easy, which really is the way that I should have gone last time. Yep, yep, we'll just go straight down here. It's nice. So in Kalanara, I bent a tie a uh, tie rod. Look at this. My God, it is the end. We're gonna have to take it off and straighten it, and then I can put it back on. This is your point. You made it down. Maybe. Well, well, I Somehow. I snapped my fucking steering rod. Oh my drum. God. <laughs> Max doesn't even know what's going on yet. Um, so I'm gonna. We we'll just have to get a yeah somehow. Want to get it? How do you want? We might even be able to just bend it when it's under there somehow. I don't know. Um, babe, the car's moving. Yeah, I got it. I rocked it. Yeah. Oh, it's not 
like how you have the shifting spinner next to your seat as well. <laughs> Ow. Who would have thought it going down, hey? Yeah. Uh, well, stuff like that usually happens to us. It's proper banter. If you look at it, do it. Fire. Film from the front bar, or here. Look at this, guys. Look. That's not meant to be a boomerang, let's put it that way. That's straight, that is ours. Wow. The hardest bit, do you have like a mallet? Like a mallet, like a big fucking hammer? Big hammer? Yeah, I've got to really knock this fucker out. Normally you've got like a, a proper tool for it, but I didn't bring it with me, obviously. Yeah. Is it one of those castle nuts that you have to like, you need an Allen it's key? It's kind of, it's like an just, Allen key from the inside? No, no. No, it's not like that. It's, I've literally got to try and knock it out and get it out of the spindle now. Okay, so you got the nut off already? Yeah, the, the nut's loosened, so now I'm hitting the nut. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go get, I'll get you a big So I need something to yeah. pop it. Yeah, I'll get you a bigger hammer. And then we can straighten it. That's proper fucking bent too. It's not a it's not a massive problem. Once we get this off, I straighten it and then we get down and then I just order a new one and get a wheel alignment. It'll like go around the corner though. But it'll you know what I mean? It's, you're literally going around, around. Yes, the front. but it's going to be at least I might get it might straighten it enough to get me out. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have that bar, please? Yeah. Thanks. Roll, is it? No. Zuri's in it. No? Hold up. It straightened it a bit. Yeah. Can you go a little bit more? Almost, almost. It's better. Yeah. Okay, we've got to remember. It's better. Better. Hopefully, it'll get you out of here. Oh. So we only got a couple of meters and it's bent again. Carsten's now under the car. He's not happy. It's starting to get a little bit dark. I don't even know what time it is. It's, yeah, it's five o'clock. So the sun's starting to go down. So this is not ideal, uh, but I do have faith in, in my husband. So fingers crossed we get out of this uh, sticky situation ASAP. Hang on, hang on. I'll get you out in two seconds. I just got to check on dad. Did you just say it's broken? Yeah. yeah. Can we drive with it broken? Not particularly. So how do we get out of here? I don't know. Are we just gonna roll down and then get towed? Well, you can't just roll it. I'm gonna have to like now strap this. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to straighten that bar. Then Patrick's got a welder. We're gonna weld here? Yeah. So Carsten was just saying he's gonna straighten it, then he's gonna weld it, and that should get us back out onto the drag, fingers crossed. Now both sides of the arm has snapped off. So now we're just gonna have to somehow straighten this. I don't think you can weld now, can you? If both sides are snapped we're off. Just going, yeah, 
We're just going to have to weld it enough to get through and out. What do you reckon? Just straighten this. Yeah. How's your welding? Your welding's really good now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends on how much power we have, Patrick. Yeah, should be nice. Straight enough. Almost there. <laughs> Straight. Ish. Ish. But that'll, that's weldable now. We can just weld that on. Yeah. If, um, you, if you take those other two, you can't take them off right now. Especially no, now. They're, they're stuck. Especially now they're stuck. Yeah. So it'll be a pain welding under there. That's like a clean snap. Yeah, well, it is now. They're both pro proper snapped. Righto. Give it a try. Give it a fucking try, mate. <laughs> How's your inverter? Oh, it'll, that should do. It'll do it? Hopefully. Let's see. First yeah. time trying it, so. Yeah, yeah. Do it, Dad. No. <laughs> do it, Dad. I cracked it. I know, you did. A white egg. This is probably about the shittiest place I've welded before. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Yeah, done welding upside down and freaking inside out. But oh, yeah, but how's that? When someone is. says, someone says, hey, um, have you done the Karatha jump up? You say, yeah, man, I welded on that once. Uh, oh, no? I welded the guy steering <laughs> on back together. <laughs> this is the best. If Patrick successfully welds this up and gets me rolling, he gets my point. I, I will hand my point over to him. <laughs> That's a big deal. It's a big deal. Or are we equal? No. You'll hand it over. Well, otherwise we're stuck here. It's he could true. have still driven out. It's true. That's that's the biggest point is getting home. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It was flying around all day in the fridge, Mom. probably. So yes. Be you want some? Yeah. Really? You can't have that. Where is it? We'll yeah. get you another special drink. It's ginger beer. Which mango beer? I please had some done. I'll get I've you a special drink, okay? Like um, a special water. Okay. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I yeah. Oh, I really want to try it. Yeah. I've never tried this. And when we get to the shops, I'll get you a special one. Thank you. So it helps having uh, friends in the business. Luckily, we know a tow truck driver here in Caratha. I'm just going to give Jezza a call now. Yeah. Here somewhere. We've got the boys welding underneath here. It's all happening today. Mate, it's casting, how are ya? Oh, fucking loving it. <laughs> and here's to try and get it to the road up the top. Okay, righto. So we'll see how we go. Like, we've just welded it, and then it, we got another 10 metres down it, and then it snapped again, so the weld snapped. So we're just, uh, we're just under there again, welding it again. We're like a bee's dick from the water crossing. Right, mate. I'll give you. I'll let you know when we um, when we get over the over this um, debacle here. Absolute legend. Thanks, mate. Gotcha. <laughs> He's going to come and get us. He said once we get it past all the hard stuff. He said he'll come out and see us straight up. Um, he can't go any further than the boat ramp. So that's our goal today is to obviously get it past this water crossing here because that's governed by high tide low tide all the tides and then I'm just gonna have to baby it the whole way up and out the problem is we have got that other rocky section which I'm not feeling overly confident about now but we have a welder so all good
he's gonna leave us, Mum. No, he's oh, not gonna no. leave us. No, he's not. He's gonna come back and get us. Shall but we go the get water Daddy? Makes, yeah, and then do. Let's do it, Mum. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't. Yeah, he he's had to make it. He helped. He did the welding. Yes. You said thank you. Yeah, yeah I said thank you. And do you, do you do you want to give him one point? Yeah. We'll give him our point. Yeah. Yeah. And and we can have his point. He didn't have a point to start with. Sun's going down. <laughs> I've got a welded steering arm. We've just got to get out to this bloody boat ramp so we can get towed back to our mate's house. I am just babying it. Oh my god. We're very close. It's pretty much. We're at 50 metres off the next section that I'm sceptical that. Yeah. This is all sand. This is good. If it was like this the rest of the way out, I'd be so happy. But yeah, I don't think it is. See here, it's getting real rocky. I'm going to put the camera down and I'll let you know if we make it to the top. Me today. I am. He won. He won. He won. I won until that happened, <laughs> and then he won because now he's he's he had the welder. So oh, okay. yeah. No, you can have the win. <laughs> <laughs> so the guys have gone to pump up their tyres back out on the bitumen. Um, we got the tow truck here. Um, it's fixed, but it's not fixed. Like you can't drive you can't drive the combi on the road like that. Thank you for being so good today. Do you know I love you? Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you. Daddy loves you so much too. Mum? Yeah? Our combi's on there. Our combi is just about to get towed. Yeah. Woohoo! Say thank you. Thank you. Nice day. Thanks, Fun day. Good day, fun day. I wouldn't hang around us too much, mate. This is what's going to keep happening. As long as there's not my vehicle. Yeah, well, I don't think we'll have any chance yeah. bloody snapping one of those things. I hope not. I'm glad you... Well, see you tomorrow for a coffee. Sounds good. I don't know, mate. Gotcha. Enjoy your night. Thanks, mate. Yeah. See you guys. Guys, we are that tired. We've just rolled in. Combi's now here at the house. We're gonna wrap this up tomorrow over a coffee, I think. Good night.